Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at a Husqvarna 125B handheld blower. Customer complaint is that the, uh, it won't start. It, they initially wouldn't admit that they did a little bit of work on it, but uh, you'll see that someone's been in here before. So the unit won't prime and it won't start. Let's take a look inside the tank here and see if there's any evidence as to what's going on. And if you put a, a light to a translucent tank like this, it works pretty good for looking inside. We're going to hit the primer bulb, and it looks like we're blowing bubbles through the air filter, back flushing it. So obviously someone's been in here messing around with the fuel lines. We'll have to dig in a little closer and see what's going on. Yeah, I went to the doctor the other day and he told me I was going deaf. The news was hard for me to hear. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. All right, while he's taking that apart, we might as well keep rolling with the jokes, eh? All right, I can tell you a story about the other day when I went to the zoo. They only had one dog there, though. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> oh, come on now. That ain't even bullshit. That's horse shit. All right, we have the starter and the side cover off. Uh, next step is we're going to pull the carburetor apart and look at the fuel lines. Why did the Scarecrow get an award? He was outstanding in his field. All right, what do we got? I'm trying to get this carburetor off of here. There we go. Now, well, what a mess. We got fuel squirting all over the place. So not only are the lines crossed, but there was a pinhole in one of the lines. We'll get this fuel line assembly, grommet, and everything out of the tank and take a look. Now, I can tell you that that is assembled wrong because the short hose above the grommet should have long end on the bottom with the filter. And we saw that it was wrong because it was pumping backwards. The best way to fix these is with a new kit that comes with the grommet, the primer, the filter. Just drop it all right in the tank done. There are instructions that come with it and they tell you how to orient the fuel lines. There's a little tab on that grommet and it's showing you which way it should be facing when you put it together. There's the tab right there. Now, despite what the instructions might say, the short hose needs to come up to the right hand side of the carburetor as you're looking at it from the back. So ignore the instructions. How do trees feel in the spring? Relieved. Alright, you can see the short fuel line there. That one's got the filter on the end of it. I'm having to spin the grommet to get it over close enough to hook it to the carburetor. So where the tab is right now is a more accurate location of where that should be oriented. We've got our line on the carburetor and we're going to route uh, the rest of our fuel lines on the same right hand side of the carburetor. 
with the lines pushed on here first. I heard on the news that all of the toilets in the NYPD headquarters have been stolen. Apparently the police have nothing to go on. Okay, let's uh, take a look at our orientation of our primer bulb and fuel lines. Like I said, we want to get it more routed on the right hand side here. Get that line tucked behind the carburetor where it's going to be out of the way. Not get pinched on anything. And then when we put our air filter holder back over the carb studs, we can pop the old primer bulb out and drop the new one in. There you go. If a kid won't take a nap, is that resisting arrest? I'm not sure. We're going to get our carburetor bolted down. Let's see, how close are we to firing this thing up? Oh, we're getting pretty close. Maybe i got time for one or two more stupid jokes, eh? I was at the convenience store the other day and I saw a clown hold the door open for someone. And I thought, what a nice jester. Okay, next step. After our carb is bolted on, our air filter is installed, we'll put the throttle linkage on. And then we bolt our side cover back on. Remember the three coarse screws go in the top by the handle and the four finer thread screws go through the starter assembly. My friend David had his ID stolen. We just call him Dave now. Because <laughs> he had his ID stolen. All right, we got the starter bolted in. Let's see if this thing runs. That's all I got for you on the uh, 125B fuel line swap and really, really stupid jokes. Thanks for watching. Later.